Today we're taking a look at the first player NGDP 850 watt power supply courtesy of first player. First player is a newer brand to me. They make a lot of different computer components. It looks like they sell cases, PSUs, peripherals, cooling, and a lot more. In terms of the NGDP power supply lineup, we have a 750 watt power supply, an 850 watt power supply, which is what I have here today, and a 1000 watt option. All of the NGDP PSUs are not only fully modular, but they're also 80 plus gold rated in terms of efficiency. The NGDP series can run with the fan set in a zero RPM mode, or a continuous operation mode. The PSU is relatively quiet. Under 50% load, the PSU is virtually indistinguishable from my noise floor. At the higher loads when I was testing, if I tip the PC over and kind of put my ear next to the PSU, I can hear the fan, but in general, I can't hear it even with higher loads over the rest of my test system. All of the PSUs in this lineup have one 12 volt rail. The 850 watt model is supplying 70.8 amps to power your gaming setup. I'm I'm setting up this 850 watt model in my AMD Ryzen 9700X RTX 4070 Super benchmarking system. I think for gaming PCs in general, 750 to 850 watts is really optimal. You're not buying too much PSU for your mid-range gaming PC, but you do have a little bit of a comfortable amount of extra in case you decide to upgrade your GPU or CPU a little down the road. In addition to the efficiency that the NGDP series boasts, this power supply is ATX 3.1 compatible, meaning we are getting cabling for the newer GPUs. We'll get one 600 watt 12VH PWR cable included. No worries though if you have an older generation GPU as we are getting some of the more common 6 plus 2 PCI Express power connections available. Just to give you an idea of the build quality of this PSU, the PSU body and the casing is nice and smooth. Everything looks relatively good in my opinion and the modular cables on the PSU and the actual cabling are very easy to use and they do give that nice satisfying click when you click them in. As for the cabling itself, in my opinion, we're getting an excellent selection of nicer quality power cabling. These are all individually sleeved and first player even includes the cable combs, which is awesome. That's not something that I normally see on most PSUs. We've got the main 24 pin harness, two of the EPS eight pin four plus four cables. There's also the PCI Express 5.0 or 12VH power cable, as I had mentioned, the PCI Express, the GPU power cables in the six plus two configurations, and we have the accessory power cables for SATA and legacy cabling. And we have the accessory power cables for SATA drives or SATA devices, as well as the legacy cabling for older devices or Molex connections. Even when I built this system in a bigger case like the Shadowbase 800FX, I would say the cabling length was plenty good to reach all of the locations that I needed. First player has a 10 year warranty on the NGDP series of power supplies, so definitely bonus points there for confidence in the product. This PSU is relatively decently sized. It's coming in at about 140 millimeters long, 150 millimeters wide, and 86 millimeters tall. The case compatibility should be relatively good for this PSU. Right now, the 850 watt version of this power supply is coming in right around the $100 mark on Amazon. Considering this PSU's total power output, the plentiful high quality cabling options, which includes that 600 watt 12 VH power cable, by the way, in addition to the cable combs, the gold rating efficiency, and the 10 year warranty, I really think that this power supply is a very good value option, and it's likely going to last through a couple of major revisions to your gaming PC. I would appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button, as that'll let YouTube know to recommend this video to other people who are researching mid-range gaming PSUs. If you're interested in PC components like this, gaming computer builds, or home lab builds, definitely get subscribed to the channel, and then ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, stay juiced up.